The ACS 580 drive from ABB features a first start assistant on the assistant control panel, which helps you get your drive up and running more quickly than ever before. Before we begin, here's a quick primer on the keypad. There are two buttons directly underneath the display on both sides. The action that those buttons perform will be indicated above them on the display, and they can vary depending on the status of the drive. The arrow keys are used to move the on-screen cursor and change values depending on the active view. There is also a question mark key which will display a context-sensitive help page when pressed. To begin, make sure you have your motor nameplate data available and power up the drive. The first start assistant will now launch automatically and will guide you through the initial startup process. Wait until it displays a language selection screen to continue. Select the language you would like to use and press the right side soft key button to continue. The assistant will now ask if you would like to set up the drive. Select the localization you would like to use and press the next button. This screen will allow you to change your preferred units. If you wish to change any of them, scroll to select the one that you would like to change and press the right arrow key while it's highlighted to see your options. Press the up and down arrows to select the desired option and press the right soft key to save your selection or the left soft key to cancel and return to the previous screen. When you are ready, press the right soft key to continue to the next screen. This screen will allow you to set your date and time as well as your desired date and time display formats. When you are finished, press the right soft key to continue to the drive name menu. At the drive name menu, you can edit the name of your drive if desired. To do so, press the right arrow key and enter the name you would like. If you do not wish to rename it, press the right soft key to continue. This is where you will enter your motor nameplate data. Be sure to enter the values exactly shown on your motor nameplate. Note that some of the values are optional, so you may not need to enter values for some of them. When you proceed to the next screen, you have the option to run a direction test on your motor. You can run this test if you would like, just make sure that running the test would not cause any potential harm or damage. If you choose to run the test, select the spin the motor option and press the start button on the panel when you are ready. After the test, the keypad will ask if your motor is spinning in the correct direction. Select your response and press the next key to continue. You will now be prompted to make a backup of your settings if you would like. Choose your desired option and press the next key to continue. The startup process is complete and the drive is now ready for use. Press the done key to enter the home view where the values of the selected signals are being monitored and displayed. Additional settings can be set in the primary settings menu if necessary. To access this menu, press the menu key from the main menu. Then select the primary settings option and press the select button. In most applications, you should at least configure whether you want to use a macro or manually set start, stop, and reference values individually. Also, you will likely want to configure your ramps and limits. You can view our full selection of ABB drives and more at galgo.com.